Now let's take a look at a few of the most commonly used fact checkers, beginning with Snopes. The husband and wife duo of David and Barbara Mickelson founded Snopes.com in 1995. They had no journalism background or training whatsoever. They built their fact checking empire by using Google as their primary verifying source. The Mickelsons divorced in 2015. Barbara sued David for embezzling money that he allegedly spent on prostitutes, as well as a lavish honeymoon with his new wife, who worked as an escort in Las Vegas before joining the Snopes cast of characters. In 2017, David Mickelson's new business partners filed a lawsuit accusing Mickelson of multiple counts of fraud and embezzlement. Snopes proclaimed to be the Internet's go-to source for discerning what is true and what is total nonsense. Yet one glance at their history of fact-free checking tells another story. When Dr. Mikovits claimed she was arrested without a warrant and jailed without a charge, Snopes rated her statement false. Had they bothered to explore the arrest documents, they would have seen that indeed there was neither a warrant nor signatures to officiate a charge, a fact that I confirmed with members of Dr. Mikovits' legal team. Was there a search warrant? No. And was she ever charged? No. Never charged with a crime. 100% correct. Judy has never been charged with any crime. Facebook's fact-checking arm, PolitiFact, is owned by the Pointer Institute, which has received substantial funding from big pharma allies such as Google and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Like Snopes, PolitiFact has a history of misleading the public. In late January of 2019, PolitiFact, Snopes, and FactCheck.org raced to squash the notion that coronavirus and its treatments were patented. They reviewed only three of the 4,452 publicly available patents, which unmistakably show that SARS coronavirus detection and treatment had been widely patented by both the public and private sectors. Facebook's founder pledged to the WHO, saying they would remove false claims and block exploitative ads. They're working with the World Health Organization and with the NHS, so they have a hotline, if you like, from those official sources. Wikipedia is the go-to destination for introductions to people, places, and things. Even the all-knowing Amazon Alexa calls on this digital encyclopedia. Alexa, who is Dr. Judy Mikovits? According to Wikipedia, Judy Ann Mikovits is a former American research scientist who is known for her discredited medical claims. She has been described as an anti-vaccination activist and a promoter of conspiracy theories, and has been accused of scientific misconduct. Wikipedia is supported by the Wikimedia Foundation, a nonprofit parent organization with a long history of politically tied funders. Many named, many anonymous. What exactly does a Wikipedia donor receive in exchange for their generosity? What began as an unbiased open source platform is now weaponized to undermine the work and reputation of anyone deemed a threat to its stakeholders. And once they smear you, they lock you out for making corrections to your own bio. In summary, most independent fact checkers are neither independent nor factual. Simply put, they are political spin machines.